Well, look behind me, Gene. This is what we're seeing at pretty much any juncture that any low-lying road that abuts the marsh from Seabrook up through the Hamptons. And the reason is the tide. You know, the tide peaked just a few minutes ago. So many roads closed because that, that wind was just blowing heavy surf up and down the coast. Cars are braving this stuff not thinking through the salt is so bad for their cars. But earlier, uh, probably about an hour ago, we were at the Rye um, Northampton line and you could just see the power in the fury of the ocean crashing over the berm at a beach that usually gets some erosion, but this was pretty severe. In fact, the state already had its plows and front end loaders trying to push some of that debris back that was blowing across the road. It uh, ended up being uh, not only impassable but dangerous because those rocks were flying and then further on almost everywhere you went when you tried to leave there roads were closed for the very same reason so many cars trying to get around some pushing past closures and driving through deep water really a mess um, all up and down the coast. We know Route 1 at the Hampton Falls Hampton line is closed because the marsh breached there as well. The good news is, as the chief in Rye said to us, this is one and done. This storm is moving out of here. There's going to be a lot of damage to clean up in the afternoon. But they do ask people stay away right now because the roads are still impassable in so many places. Thankfully, that rain is gone, but the impact of the rain and wind is going to stay with us probably for the next six to eight hours here on the coast. Live here in Hampton, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9. Yeah.